Sagittarius, welcome to the reading. We're starting with a you versus them reading, which we will clarify. You are represented by the large card. Your person of interest is represented by the small card next to it. So the overall energy, Sagittarius, for the reading, the bottom of the deck for you is the Eight of Coins, the card of getting to know somebody, getting to know a lot about them. The energy at the bottom of the deck of your person is Divine Feminine, the Empress card, attracting beauty and love, and you're willing to do the work. So I like this reading. So when we look at what Spirit's message is coming into the reading, we see deep knowing. So you have a really deep understanding that this is a very significant connection. Spirit is saying round and round there are unfinished, there's unfinished business with your relationship spiritually. So you are here to learn a spiritual lesson about love and it looks like it's really quite beautiful. I like the energy that I see. So when we look at your energy in the recent past, your recent energy is the Queen of Wands energy. So you're all about it. You're in it to win it. You're bossing up Sagittarius. That is the Aries Queen. And it really shows that you're excited about this. This person has you worked up, excited. You really want this relationship to really um, manifest. So we get that your partner's energy is the lover's energy. And the lover's energy is very much in the recent past, a soulmate energy. Very passionate, very exciting. We can see the two of them looking into one another's eyes. And when we look at the Aries Queen, we also see this arrow here, which makes me think Sagittarius along with uh, Gemini energy. So when we look at the energy of the Queen of Wands, we get it's clarified by the Ace of Cups. So there is a feeling very much, Sag, that you are... Uh, falling in love. You know, this person represents somebody that you would like to spend time with. When we get the energy, their energy is the Eight of Coins. They're invested. You know, you're, and now you're mirroring uh, them, or they are mirroring you. They want to get to know you. They want to do the work. They're invested. So we look at your energy currently. We see that you are manifesting the energy of a legacy relationship. This legacy relationship shows a man, a husband, wife, presumably, or couple. We see children, we see dogs, we see abundance, we see coins. This is Virgo energy. It's all about manifesting wealth and a beautiful relationship. And your partner is here with the stability, the honeymoon card, the marriage card, the bride and groom dancing at the reception energy. So you are both very much on the same page currently in this energy. When we look and see what the energy, what the clarifier is for the Ten of Coins for you, let's look at that. Let's clarify that. The King of Cups. So you really love this person. You don't really talk about love. You show love. You show your person that you love them by manifesting the relationship the two of you both want. What is a clarifier for the Four of Wands for your person? Let's look and see what their clarifying energy is. So we have the Four of Swords. So your person looks as though they might have been married before, and so they have a little bit of trepidation, but it doesn't matter because this energy is very healing, and it really shows that the two of you are moving forward. They want to move forward also, even though the, this person is kind of frightened, you know, really does show Four of Swords. This person's been wounded in the past, so they are carrying in old wounds, but that's not unusual unless you're you know, 20 years old. You have typically some wounds along the way of love. So when we look at the energy that says how you view the path forward, you are throwing caution to the winds. And why are you throwing caution to the winds? Because the Nine of Cups, this person makes you want to eat, drink, be merry. You really like this person. You love them. You, the Nine of Cups represents one more cup and you're married. And we've got this Ten of Cups, you know, Nine and the Ace of Cups is a Ten of Cups. Your person sees a way forward as a soulmate connection, being loyal to each other. Look at that, another soulmate card, the Two of Cups energy. 
Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so your energy or how you view your person is a person who's a winner. You know, you view them uh, and you, when you think about them, you think of them as somebody who has won a certain amount of success in their life. And the Two of Wands energy for your person indicates that they feel as though it's time to make a choice. So when they look at you, they think, yeah, you know, it's go time. I want the globe. I want a new beginning. I want to make this choice. Your energy is hermit energy. It indicates that you've probably been alone for a while. You've thought long and hard about this relationship, and you feel as though you'd really like to have it. The hermit is Virgo energy. So you may be Virgo. You might have Virgo in your chart. But it really says that you're making an, an enlightened um, decision and an enlightened, you're forming an enlightened opinion about your person. When we look at the energy of their energy, it's the way they see things, how they view you in the situation. The Page of Cups, they're bringing love to the table. They know it's time that they're at, they are at a crossroads and it's time to come forward with love. The Ace of Wands is how you feel in your heart space. You're very excited. You're very enthusiastic about this person. Ace of Wands energy is fire sign energy. Once again, it's energy that you're very comfortable with. It's about passionate new beginnings. And it is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. You're willing to give up your um, single life for something that is going to offer a lot more passion, a lot more meaning in your life because you have someone to share your abundance with. When we look at the chariot energy, your person is like, honey, I'm home in their heart space. They want to come home to you every night. And the clarifier for that energy is the three of coins. You might have met them collaborating on a project. You might have met them at work. But what it really says is that they want to collaborate in their life with you. When we look at the world card, you want this to be the last go-round that you have to sort of do, the last bit of success that you want in your life. This is a culmination. You want to be married to this person like a happily ever after, you know, till death do us part, the final cycle. And you have the Empress energy clarifying it. So we're really seeing divine energy, divine love here, soulmate energy twice there, uh, both of you are very much in love with each other. Your person is coming out. Oops, the daisy. Oh, they're shooting fireworks off here. Hello. They do it all year in the summer. Okay, sweetie, calm down. It's okay, Rose. Rosie's my buddy over here. She's barking. She gets a little bit afraid. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords is how your person views the situation moving forward. They have great clarity. They do, they do have a little bit of fear, though. The Four of Cups means that they love you very much, but what I'm getting is that, that it may be moving a little bit fast for them. They're a little bit overwhelmed in that energy, and that's why we see this energy of, you know, a, a deeper knowing and round and round and unfinished symphony. Your person seems to be further uh, along. They seem to be in a period of time in which they're healing, and they're not quite ready to actually have the wedding ceremony, but they certainly want every, they do want it. They're just not ready for it to happen yet. When we look at the energy, is they are not going to go anywhere. We see the Eight of Cups energy. They're not. They are in it to win it because we also have the Six of Wands. So we see your person, although they're not quite ready to talk about what, flowers or at the wedding reception. They're not quite at that place yet. They're enjoying getting to know you and really developing the love and a love that they can trust. They're, your person's coming in with divine energy here. They're coming in as a manifestation of love. When we look at the hidden energy between the two of you, it's the king of pentacles, for God's sake, Sagittarius. Again, this is the Taurus king. And your person is coming in with the Ace of Cups. You know, this is a, for many of you, this is a, or you're early in the relationship, but it is, you have really fallen in love with each other. The King of Pentacles is all about somebody who's earned their wealth, Sag. You've worked very hard for your stability. You're very passionate. You're very determined to keep this stability. 
Um, you're very much a person who has manifested. You're very loyal. You're very passionate. And you want to have a beautiful life with someone else. You're tired of being alone. So the Ace of Cups here for your person. So, oh my gosh, is clarified by their King of Pentacles. Is that funny? Okay, so they are feeling the same way. In this love affair, they want what you want. The Nine of Swords, though, does tell me that you are a little bit more worried about them. That you are you are concerned about something. What is what is Sag concerned about? Ah, uh, you may have different different cultural, religious, or philosophical beliefs. They want to make sure that you're on the same page. We're getting the moon card. They're not sure about some things, but that's typical. I don't know of any. You don't really think that there's any guarantees, and that does, you know, it's intimidating. If somebody is not nervous about getting married, then I don't think they're being very realistic because it's a big step. So what I am getting here is that Spirit is telling the two of you that you need to have the stability. Your person needs to be as stable as you are. And what we're seeing here, Sag, is that there has been, it looks as though Spirit is saying, expect the unexpected. You know, this has been going along beautifully and that, you know, there could be some surprises or something that is going to be a shock or something that has to be settled in the relationship. Information that may make you sad. So what we see here with your person is, a possible third-party situation. So the way I'm reading this, Sag, is that I feel as though um, what I'm seeing here is that this person, the moon card, and you, you did suspect that they could possibly be still entangled with an ex, okay? So what I'm seeing is that it looks as though, most likely, as a practical matter in this reading, your person, when you met them, said, oh, I'm getting a divorce, you know, I'll, I'll be divorced any day. And what I'm seeing is that that isn't quite true. Your person, you know, they have to come and tell you. They're going to come and tell you and basically hurt your feelings. They have to reveal the truth to you that they're just now filing, they're just now getting around to it, that they, they wanted to be with you, so they were, they had some dishonesty here. And that does explain why they're nervous, it, it explains why they don't want to move as quickly. We get the devil energy, you know, it's sort of like this devil made me do it, I fell in love with you, I hope you forgive me, they're asking for you to apologize, or they're asking, um, they're telling you or giving you an apology, and they're asking for your forgiveness. The Devil card says that your energy is Six of Pentacles. You can understand it. Do you like it? No. The Devil energy. You, it makes you feel as though this person has other hidden things that might be going on in their life. But for the most part, you still trust them. We get the Magician energy. Again, you're manifesting this. Your person feels as though, you know, they feel somewhat humiliated here because technically, if not in reality, they were juggling you. And we get the Queen of Pentacles energy. But the Queen of Pentacles is married to the King of Pentacles. The two of you are very suited to each other, but I do feel as though there was an avoidance of giving you information, Sag, in a timely manner. I feel as though now they have remorse and regret. Um, you know, it certainly has disrupted some of the trust, some of the progress, but the two of you are still in love. I still see the two of you, you know, manifesting this relationship. The chariot card says that the two of you are moving swiftly into the future. Round and round is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Timing is on your side. Jupiter energy, good fortune. The unfinished symphony, which is this unfinished business with this former spouse, former marriage, shows the lover's card. A choice is made for this relationship, and we have the lover's card twice here, which is all about the choice. Um, when the original tarot was devised, the lover's card was about making a choice of one situation over another. 
So let's look at Divine Destiny and see what we have for you, Sag. I love this reading for you. It's quite beautiful. The two of you do have unfinished business. You have to work out some of the toxicity involved in this hidden, hidden information. So your person has fears and they didn't respond very well with their fears and the way they manifested the relationship with you. So that is an unfinished symphony and it will need to be dealt with. And it looks like you do it. It looks like with this king, Queen of Pentacles energy, the two of you are able to manifest, yes, happiness. Here we go. So I do get happiness for you as your um, destiny card. Let's pull out two more destiny cards to see. We have Purification. Oh, good. That's Devil Energy. Purifying the Devil Energy. And Forgiveness. Wow, that was probably the simplest, most straightforward reading I've done all week. I want to thank you for your time, Sag, Cindy, love. Congratulations, and good luck on all of this, this business here, but you'll clear it up. It says you will. All right, take care. Bye, Sag.